Blockade started, I volunteered to fly the airlift and I got over to over to the Rhine Mine in West Germany and the 10th of July 1948, just after the blockade started. I thought that the, that it'd be over soon. Stalin had just taken Czechoslovakia and he'd just taken Hungary and he wanted West Germany. So he was cutting off all the food supplies to two million people to take control of their lives and free Berlin. And that's why we flew the food into them. They didn't have any food unless we, it came in by air. And I thought that Stalin would, everybody in the world would be so against Stalin, starving women and children. Not many men left in Berlin, mostly women and children. I thought the world would make him open the blockade and let food come across East Germany to West Berlin. And so I thought it'd be over soon, and I wanted to see what it was like on the ground. Because like you saw that what it looked like coming into land. And I wanted to be on the ground and get some pictures, some of that I did, on the ground. So when I finished flying one day, about noon, I made three trips to Berlin overnight, and three trips it took me about 12 hours, and go to bed, and then we start again. I came back to West Germany about noon, beautiful clear day. I was supposed to go to bed, but I wanted to go to Berlin to get movies on the ground. I thought it'd be over. That's how dumb I was. It went on, the airlift went on over more than a year, about 14 months. So I, I didn't have any trouble going. My buddy next door to me on, and they, well, they had an airplane, and he, he was, had a load of coal that was going to Berlin. And I said, Hey, I, I'll go. I'll go with you. I got the movie camera. I'll go with you. I told my co-pilot engineer, "You go to bed to right now. I'll be back tonight because all I need is a flight suit for a ticket. Every five minutes, there's an air empty airplane coming back from Berlin. So I knew I wouldn't have any trouble with it getting back from from Berlin back out to West Germany for that night. So that's what I did. I went. I, I jumped on the airplane." Took my movie camera, I had a jeep waiting for me. A buddy says, hey, if you get to Berlin, you get over here. I got a jeep and a driver, and we'll take you, take you around in the city and you can see what's going on. So when I landed in Berlin, see, when we landed in Berlin with a load, we, we had to stand right by the airplane. We couldn't even go in the building, the terminal building, and stand right by the airplane until the last sack of flour and coal was up and we'd take off. So we couldn't see anything. So I, I, as soon as I got there, I said, look guys, I'll be back. I'll get the Jeep in a little while. I want to run over to the other end of the runway and take pictures. The airplane's coming over and landing. You saw the pictures coming over my head landing. I want to get some pictures coming over the buildings because that's a bad approach. And I'll be back. So I ran a couple, two and a half miles around the approach end, shooting the movies. Suddenly, there's a barbed wire fence around the, the air base to keep people from getting run over the airplane. The barbed wire to keep them off. And here was the barbed wire right in front of my uniform and then open place in the bombed out building. And suddenly, right in front of me, we can turn that off if you like. Right, right in front of me, bring up the lights please. Right, right in front of me across the barbed wire was about 30 young people area ages about 8 to 14 years old, 30 kids standing right and lined up, you might have seen them in the slide going on before. Right up looking, the uniform was killing them. This was a little over two years before, bombing them over two years before. But they were friendly. They were friendly because their aunts and uncles on the other side of the line around East, East West Berlin could walk across the border then and tell them, you don't want anything to do with these Soviets. You can't vote, you can't travel, it's closed down the churches. You can't do anything. You guys hang on to what you've got. Stay free. See, that Berlin was, that West Berlin was right inside the Soviet controlled East Germany. You saw the, the picture. So they do what they do with these guys. So those kids knew what it was, how important it was to be free. America.